Hey everybody, if you're a buyer and you've been struggling to get an offer accepted, and maybe you've even lost out on a few homes in this crazy market, you'll want to listen to today's Wednesday Wisdom. Stick around. Hey everybody, it's Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long and Foster. Today we're talking about how to get your offer accepted in this crazy competitive market. So I have three tips that I'm gonna go over with you today to help you be prepared to compete. Okay, tip number one, you need to get pre-approved by a reputable local lender. Not just one of those big nationwide banks where you're just a number, but somebody who knows the ins and the outs of the local market. And you need to get a pre-approval, not just a pre-qualification. The difference is really important. If you get pre-qualified, that means that you spoke to a lender, they asked you some questions, maybe asked for a couple of pay stubs, little things like that, and they've given you a general assessment that yes, you should qualify to purchase a home in this particular price range. With a pre-approval, they've already run all of your numbers, they've gotten your documentation, it's gone through underwriting, and really you're just waiting for an appraisal to be able to close on that home. A pre-approval is much stronger than a pre-qualification, so make sure that you get pre-approved. Now, along with getting pre-approved is the importance of knowing your budget, because you may get pre-approved for, for an amount that's much higher than what you're comfortable spending. So know what you're willing to spend every month on that monthly mortgage payment so that you can be comfortable living in the home that you purchase. Okay, tip number two, don't shop at the very top of your budget. And here's why. In this very competitive market, it may be necessary, if there are multiple offers on a property, for you to escalate your offer to a number higher than the list price. So if you're shopping at the very top of your budget and then you need to escalate beyond that, you may not be able to afford that purchase. Okay, tip number three, find out what's important to the seller. Let's say you have some flexibility with your settlement date. You could close sooner or later. Well, if it's a family, and they have a lot of stuff and a lot of kids that they have to wrangle, maybe they need a little bit more time. Your ability to close 45 days or 60 days out as opposed to the standard 30 may be very beneficial to them versus someone who has to close within 30 days. Or let's say that the seller has some furniture left behind that they don't want to take with them to their next home. If you can either use that or you don't mind donating it or taking care of it, Maybe make that offer to the seller. You don't have to move these items. That could make a big difference as well. So these are just three of many techniques that you can use to make your offer more competitive and appealing to a seller. If you want to sit down and discuss your plans and how to make your offer more appealing, just give us a call. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.